And we are back with the last round. It is 3-3, three to three, and Terrabang with an incredible comeback. They were 0-3 in the first half, came back with three wins in a row in the second half to take it to this deciding round. And these teams have been incredibly closely matched. We'll see how this third round plays out. Uh, Terrabang has a lot of momentum coming into this, and you can't help but feel discouraged if you're on Swordfish Trombones, but not is all lost. It all comes down to this one round. Three rounds before this don't matter anymore. Just gotta win one more. And uh, we do see Red losing a couple players here on the mid fight. Not a huge amount, oh, but Eddie goes down right there as he's trying to capture the point. Nobody on the point right now. We do finally have, oh, so huge crits coming down. And Anjisan does connect with Arcraft. Oh, but a spy in behind the medic. Uh, Wicket will somehow dodge and survive that. Did uh, Stumpy the Raccoon finally go? No, he's dead rang out of that. Uh, absolutely ridiculous situation. Speaking of spies. Uh, here's one with uh, some fancy, oh, missing that stab, but hey, don't you love it when you fall and there's a medic right in front of you and nobody knows you're there? Oh, spy checking! Arcraft was a beautiful spy checking right there and uh, saving his medic's life, no doubt. Oh, oh man, oh, huge crit sticky's coming down, Bond connecting with Wicket and that's exactly what they needed, but then Allison going down Angie Slan with some good stickies in retaliation. These demos are back, ladies and gentlemen. Last round we saw it was all about the heavies, but now it is back to Angie Slan and Bond who um, taking their dominance back on Lakeside. That's absolutely awesome, <laughs> first of all. And it's not, you know, completely necessary if your heavies are doing a good job protecting the point and getting those um, kills in uh, clustered areas or whatever. It, it's, it's really nice, but uh, with adequate positioning on Lakeside, good demos are just um, incredibly scary and can shut down uh, everything. Arcraft right now is shutting down the pool house. <laughs> oh, here we go. We got some mic action on the battle mitts. He's just harassing right now. <laughs> He does get the dispenser, and that's something, but Eddie does take him down. Um, no crits or anything to speak of, but blue team is pushing forward. Little, I don't know about this. They are trying to do that, you know, that um, forward defensive hold that I was talking about earlier that we see lots of plat teams and higher level teams doing, but it doesn't work if everybody on red is already in this yard. Uh, we do have 100% crits ready for Swordfish. Let's we'll see who gets it. I'm going to guess Angie-san on this because that's what they've been doing this round. And indeed, Demo does get it. Uh, let's see if there's anybody in the pool house. No, where is blue team? Not gonna be able to connect with any of these. And, oh, Wicked is so out of position. Mm, does fall back and will be able to survive that. Uh, however, Al Allison went down in there. Didn't see how she got killed, but uh, that's gonna be pretty huge. Wicked's gonna have this uh, little bit of an advantage. <laughs> we haven't seen either medic run regular Uber gun, which is, which uh, makes me laugh, obviously, because I just laughed. But, uh, ooh, soldier battle in the bathhouse. Mike taking a lot of damage right here. See if he'll be able to survive. No, he's going to have to fall back and get some heals. But, uh, yeah, both medics have been running the crits, which I'm actually kind of... I don't know if I agree with. Um, uh, medics have been having a really tough time at staying alive, so they're obviously just want to get that uh, charge up fast. And... It is steel, so they uh, oh, really want that high damage output, especially when you they crits that demo man and stuff. But at the same time, they haven't been able to really dominate. Either team has not been like super crazy dominant, even though it went 0-3 and then 3-0 for these uh, teams. Uh, three wins in a row for both teams. Um, mm, these teams, these games have been incredibly close. So I don't know about that. Oh, we do have a spy in from behind. Oh, spy checking is in on it though. Arcraft takes him out. Um, a good, a good-ish push right here from Blue, but they need to stay up. They need to be aggressive. They need to hold. We are not seeing that from Interrobang. Um And I don't know. Uh, here they go. They are going to try to hold this position a little bit more, and that's exactly what they need to do. They need Mike up here on the battlements. Um, hey, Medic is with the scout. This would be a perfect time for Blue to come and take out Wicket and get that advantage, but Wicket will be able to charge up 100%. Uh, we'll see this crits coming off as soon. Oh, Wicket is in such trouble right now. Going to have to pop it immediately on the point, and we do have the crits popped on Pete. Pete is just... Mm, M1 in right now, see if he can't connect with anything. He's just shooting the wall. Um, you know how that wall can betray you. And indeed, they do cap the point right there. Only a minute 30 left. But hey, here's a crit. 
Uh, again, we see Interrobang going for that weird little uh, flank thing that actually did not help them in the last round. Not helping them there, kind of a waste of a crits, and uh, I'm not sure how I agree with that. However, they only have 26 left seconds left on the point, whereas uh, Red Team is taking it down to a minute and 30, or a minute 13, sorry about that. And uh, we'll see who can hold on to this point. Eddie is uh, doing his little crouching thing, and he's so screwed. <laughs> I don't know why they insist on crouching in these corners on the points. You just don't want to do that. It's so easy to get boxed in with stickies. It's so easy for Pyro to turn the corner and air blast you. I mean, uh, set you on fire, air blast you, and then extinguish you. It's a... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's that, like, uh, fetal positioning thing. You want to be surrounded. You want to feel like you're safe, like in your mom's womb or something. I don't know. Anyway, here comes some huge um, rockets down. Anjisan does get a few kills with that mic going down, but then Arcraft taking out Wicked with that extinguisher. We are down to the last 20 seconds, 26 seconds for both teams. Going to be absolutely ridiculous. We're going to ah, try to press the right keys as we just stare onto the point right now. We do have a crits coming down for Interrobang. They have all numbers and... Swordfish does not have anybody out there finally getting these respawns and this is going to be the last hurrah for Swordfish if they want to, if they want to win this match they remember took three win round wins in a row and then took three round losses in a row it's absolutely devastating if they lose this match it will be huge indeed and Terrorbank trying their damnedest to hold on and uh, not gonna happen yet as here are the last minute efforts of Swordfish and finally Finally, Blue does hold on, and Terrobang does get the win, coming back from 3-0 at halftime. I, uh, no words for that, ladies and gentlemen. What a great match. Um, huge, huge shout-out to everybody I felt like was doing work in this, in this match. Uh, my mom and your lasagna. Don't know how much I can say about uh, what I loved his engineer style. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll see big and awesome things from him in the future. Stumpy the Raccoon came in in the second half and did crazy, crazy spy work to really keep uh, his team in this game. And uh, yeah, so there we go. Those are we're losing the scores, so that we're losing the players. That means I need to shut up and go. But thank you so much for Double Dragon who sent this in. Uh, I'm happy I was finally able to cast it. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, that's about it for me tonight. Uh, have a good day.